Okay, this computer is being weird. It's on Windows 11. It was a clean install. I updated everything and it's saying to update. And the reason it's saying that is because it's stuck on like an old update of Windows 11. I don't know why, but you can see it's on, where is it? Windows 11 Pro. Wait, it's on 22H2. That's the correct one. So what is it talking about? I don't, I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'm doing all the, the health check and stuff to see what's going on. It's already on Windows 11, so I don't know what's going on. Windows 11. <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't know what this thing's talking about. All right, let's see. So if I close this, right, if I look up what is going on. All right, we don't need any of this, I don't think. So if I look up, where's the update thing again? Get the newer version. Okay, give me a second. Let me Google this real quick. Okay, so you see, get the newer version of Windows to stay up to date. So let me see. I don't know how this has reached end of service. It's the latest update. It was a completely clean install directly from Microsoft. So what is it talking about? I ran Windows Update. It says you can use Windows Update. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. Give me a second. All right, so the latest version is supposed to be 24H2. So we are on an old one, right? This was 22H2 or something, 22H2. So how do I update because it won't do it by itself? Let me see if there's an offline update. Okay, let's try this. So I Googled Windows 11 24H2 offline installer. We have this Microsoft thing. Let's see what people said. Is there a way to do it or is this person screwed. I don't know what's going on. This I've never seen this error before. So, blah, 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 blah. Please use the enablement package to quickly upgrade 11.22. Okay, let's try this. So there's this thing. Okay, and then there's some other stuff. Feature upgrade update to blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's try running this and see what happens. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Okay, do you want to update? Yes. Do it. I don't know why it's not automatically finding the update. I've never seen that happen before. That is so weird. Okay, well, it's going now, and it says to restart your computer. So let's see if that works. I'll let it update, and then we'll be back. It's gonna take some time, probably. All right, it's starting back up. Let's see. All right, let's try running updates again. Check for updates. Is it is it on the newer one? Check for updates. Let's see if I go to system again, is it updated? About 23H2, okay, so it is on the newer one. So how do we get 24H2? Is it gonna work now or is it still broken? <laughs> Let's try 24H2 again, search the same thing. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. Okay, so go there. Nope, wait, download and install all. What is this? 23H2, it's still doing 23H2. What is this? Okay, so 23H2, install 24H2, you can use the ISO instead. You have to use an ISO? What? What is this? Install offline article, blah, blah, blah. 24H2 for Windows 10, no, Windows 11. What is this? Why isn't it automatic? <laughs> Use the update assistant. You can upgrade the Windows 11 to manually by using the update assistant. After blah blah blah, okay. Using the ISO file to upgrade offline. Uh, upgrade offline, downloading installation. You can follow this. Okay, let's try that. I held control and clicked it, so it opened as another tab. See the following steps. No, go back. I need to see what. what? Oh, wait, here's the Windows 11 installation assistant. Let's just do that one. <laughs> Let's see if that works, because otherwise then we'll have to like download the whatchamacall. Oh, run the setup off 
offline, double click ISO, set up open a new window, get updates, option not right now, accept, confirm, blah blah blah, install. That's so weird. Okay, well, we'll try the update assistant first and see what happens. Here it is, I think. Or is it that? I don't even know. Here we go. Accept and install Windows 11. Okay, I think it's going to work. So I'll let this run and then I'll be back again. <laughs> All right, showing step three of three, it's installing. So hopefully that's installing the latest one. I don't know what's going to happen because this is also downloading. So I guess we'll see what happens, but this is installing. So if your computer's not updating, I guess that's how you would manually do it. We'll see if it actually updates and then we'll see if it gives more updates after that. All right, step three of three installing. We're at 33%, so we'll see. It's now at 72%, almost done. It's taking a while though. It's stuck on 72 for a while. There you go, 73. All right, we'll see you guys once it's done. It's probably gonna restart and then we'll see if it updates to the latest one. I don't know what's gonna happen because this one's updating already. Um, but this one's also installing, so I don't know. They're both installing at the same time. I don't know how that's gonna work, but we'll find out. Hopefully it's not gonna kill it and I'm gonna have to end up doing it all over again. Now that's at 80% and this is at 35. I don't know how that's working, <laughs> but we'll find out. And now this is at 82%, that's at 77. I guess we'll just keep waiting. It's taken a while. All right, so here it is, still 88%. This one's done, I'm just gonna let it go. I need to go run some errands, I'll be back. All right, so it finished and now it wants to restart. So let's restart it and see what happens. All right, okay, go, restart. Why is it taking so long? Do I just gotta wait and let it do its thing? Update and restart, I'm just gonna do it. All right, we'll see what happens after this update. <clears throat> All right, finished restarting. Let's see. I don't know why it popped up Microsoft Teams. Let's try and check for updates again and see what it shows. It's going to give the exclamation. Oh, it's good now. So we did have to end up doing all of that. That's annoying. Let's see. Are we on the latest now? We are on. Where is it? Uh, 24H2. Yep, so we're on the latest version now. So I don't know why it was giving that error and not doing it automatically, but now you can see it's getting all the other updates. So we did need to get the Windows 11 installation assistant and run that, and that finished. All right, now we'll just run the normal updates and we're good to go. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. That was a very strange um, error. I've never seen that before where <laughs> I'm like, Windows 11, how can it be out of support? It's <laughs> the latest OS. So if for some reason your updates aren't updating and you have that red exclamation mark and you're stuck, um, yeah, just Google that stuff and then get the Windows 11 installation assistant or just Google Windows 11 installation assistant. That will probably fix the problem. All right, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it helped and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so other people can find my videos and it can help them as well. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.